Alright everybody, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be checking out number 38 on the top 100 NFL's greatest players of all time list. Lance Elworth. So I'm going to roll the intro and see you in a minute. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Uh. Check out Major Key Physiques for the best in sports apparel and workout accessories. They have free shipping worldwide for all orders over $150. Use discount code JACOB10 for an extra 10% off. Enjoy the video, and I'll see you there. All right, guys, Lance Elworth, a Hall of Fame wide receiver, I'm told. Let's get into it. Number 38. When I look at where the game is today in the NFL, the game is today. I can point to Lance Elworth as having influenced it maybe as much as any person Ever. Okay. He's influenced the modern game today more than any other person ever. Why? Was he taking crazy catches? Was he mossing people before Randy Moss was, about, was, was around? What happened? Let's find out. The reason being is the AFL was more wide open than the NFL. And Lance Allworth was the face of that. San Diego Chargers are fortunate to have Lance Allworth in their stable from football's finest receiver. There Early 60s. A more appropriate name for anybody that has ever had to stand still and then be an athlete than Bambi. Every time his foot touched the ground, it was on his toes and he would bounce like a young fawn. That head was as steady as it could be, but his feet were bouncing and had the grace and the fluidness of uh, a deer. Charlie Flowers called me that. He said, you got sharp brown hair and big brown eyes and you run like a deer. I'm going to call you Bambi. Jerry Jones played on the University of Arkansas freshman team in 1961, often practicing on the same field with the star of the Razorbacks varsity, Lance Allworth. It was like being on the field with Red Granger. It was like being on the field with Bronco Nagurski. And it actually inspired me. The reason is, very early on, I had the opportunity to buy the San Diego Chargers. And I don't mind telling you a whole part of the reason that buy I just them? couldn't sleep thinking about a chance to be involved with the Chargers had everything to do with the fact that I always playing on that team. Man, <laughs> what a draw card. To draw an owner to spend millions and millions and millions, hundreds of millions of dollars on a team for this one player. He definitely did change the game. Into the 1963 AFL Championship. He was the key element in one of pro football history's Fast. most explosive offenses. It's a genius of Sid Gilman that we all recognize in pro football. He built uh, an offense around Lance Allworth's abilities. Take a drive corner, Lance, or you know, come in from a good wide position and start right down that middle and then break it off. And right down that middle. You will lose him. You will lose him. You will lose him. You will lose him every time. You bound away. Straight through the middle. Straight up the seam. Artistry resulted in seven seasons with over a thousand yards receiving. And in 1978, Allworth became the first AFL player enshrined in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. To me, uh, knowing what it takes to be a great receiver today, Lance personified that. And you look at what the AFL has contributed to the game. And you look at uh, Lance Allworth's impact during that time. And you can truly say that he impacted and changed the NFL. Interesting. I will, I will say one thing, just before I do go. Um, that was my first look at a San Diego Chargers uh, person. I've got one of my awesome subscribers sent me this t-shirt from the Chargers. But it's actually for my sister. It's a girl's top. 
But I do have something from the charges. I just thought I'd show you that. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy that video, please hit that like button. If you want to subscribe and stick around for more, please do. And I'll see you back here for number 37 on the list. And his name is Jim Thorpe. So I'll see you then. Peace out.